Uh, now to a question about the boundary between free speech and hate speech. This debate follows a series of fiery local school board meetings in Bucks County. For more on what was said and what can or can't be done about it, we turn to Action News reporter Taronda Thomas live in Doylestown this afternoon. Taronda. Well, Brian and Sarah, you know, every school board has it. A portion of the meeting doing public comment where someone can get up and say whatever they'd like. Well, there's concern now that some of those comments being shared at the Central Bucks School Board meetings are hate speech. Central Bucks approved Diwali as a holiday. A celebration for which Sylvie Haldapur intended to thank members of the Central Bucks School Board Tuesday night. Instead, her praise turned into disbelief. My God, where did I move? All because of the comments other residents made before her. One about transgender students. No, transgender. He has the right to go into the woman's bathroom and rape her. The other comment about Jewish people. It's time to stand up to the Zionism and communism. The increase in hate and vile language being shared during these school board meetings happened when I first started going to them. Clearly there's a movement in the United States for more parental input into the operation of public schools. Temple law professor and free speech expert Laura Little says the explosive comments are protected as free speech. It may be inappropriate, mean, and the like. Generally, it's not, you can't put the, the label hate speech. And the school board member who tried to stop the comment on transgender students. No, that's that's enough. All right. That's that's enough with that. that. Stands by her decision. Karen Smith writing a response on social media that says in part, quote, the topic is only brought up to inflame and incite. It is wrong and I will continue to call it out when I hear it, end quote. An action that got her reprimanded by fellow school board members who defended the speaker. I ask that you let people finish their three minutes, please, without interrupting and telling them that's enough. Haldapur says even if school board members can't legally stop it, they can still say something. Please condemn this hate. Hoping the next school board meeting won't take an ugly turn. This is hate. Hate. It's got to stop. I just got a statement from the National Office of the Anti-Defamation League because one of the speakers actually targeted him, them in his comments. They say in part, quote, we urge the school board leadership to disavow these remarks and make it clear that they in no way reflect the, the views of the Central Bucks School District, end quote. Now, we did reach out to the school district. They did not return our calls, our requests for comment. As far as school board member Smith goes, she says she's trying to get the other school board members to sit down and really discuss the parameters by which certain speech can be stopped but she acknowledges it is a slippery slope. In Doylestown, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? All right, Taronda, thank you.